Hey everyone, I'm Russell Mullen with Mother Earth News. And I'm Jessica Mitchell from Mother Earth News. And today we're going to be talking about solar cooking. Yeah, you can see behind us we have four different wonderful solar ovens and we're out here outdoors celebrating outdoor cooking and Fourth of July. Yeah, so a lot of you all are probably getting back from your Fourth of July cookouts with your friends and family. Mm -hmm. um, this may be a different take on it, so we'll be going over some of the things that you can be cooking in solar ovens and how you can potentially incorporate them into your life so yeah I'm excited to get started yeah. so I guess we want to just go down the line here right with yep. our different products yeah and uh, remember if you all have any questions at any time during this video feel free to put them in the comments we have someone here who shout them out to us and if we don't get to your question during the video then we'll try our best to answer them after the video as well so yep get on there ask your questions we love to hear from you all um, and if you don't have a question maybe just give a shout out where you're viewing from we love seeing where all of you are coming from oh yeah that's so fun Alrighty, so this is our Solivore. It's kind of a fun name, you know, like omnivore, carnivore, and now this is our Solivore because we are cooking from the sun. So uh, I think what we have in here are scalloped potatoes. Um, so I think you can kind of see there is like a pot sitting right in here. And um, I believe the technology is a simple one, um, but it's very effective. It's basically using the greenhouse gas effect uh, for you know a positive way of cooking food mm -hmm. um, so the sun will come in here reflect and then get trapped inside of the um, container yeah if you've ever seen those old school tanning uh, yes. <laughs> beers, you know what's going on here so basically it's just funneling the sunlight onto this pot the inside is black the pot is black and it actually absorbs that solar energy and turns that light energy into uh, heat so that's what we use to cook the food and we can actually you want to open it up yeah sure all right i think we can take these guys off right yep we'll just take this reflective mirror off mm -hmm. and this is very light um as well it's probably like under 10 pounds so it's very easy to pick up and transport so woo! you can see the steam, steam. coming out of there <laughs> So we've put uh, an internal uh, like thermometer right in there that'll uh, keep let us keep track of the temperature instead of just you know opening it up and you know sticking your hand in or something yeah. like that. And right now we're reading at about 250, and that's normal for this unit. It usually ranges in between 200 and 300, which is food cooks at 180. So mm -hmm. this is more than enough to cook most of anything you want to. Yeah. And we can take that Whoa, off. That looks and, awesome. And you can <laughs> see we uh, it's bubbling. It's piping hot in there so that is great yeah and how long has this been in here a few hours maybe yeah we put it in this morning so um probably like several hours at this point maybe like three or four um so we're kind of treating this like a slow cooker um so this isn't something you're gonna you know throw in and do like a really quick fry of something mm. this is something which is great where you know if you're camping um you set out your solivore you put your food in you can go on a hike um relax something like that, as long as you have the sun, um, you're able to cook even when you're not on location. And then in a couple hours, again, treating it like a slow cooker, mm -hmm. you can come back and, and your stuff will be done, yeah. which is really awesome. It is really awesome. So, oh. wondering about condensation issues. Mm, condensation issues. One of the things about this is that it does keep the moisture in. Mm -hmm. um, so it does act more like a slow cooker. Uh, but it also keeps a lot of the flavor and stuff in too, so you don't have to worry about food drying out as much, which is kind of nice because the cook times can tend to be just a little bit longer than what they would be in an oven. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think also the worry of, you know, is there going to be too much condensation? We, uh, I think we tried this a little bit earlier as well. And also looking at our potatoes now, they're not overly soupy. Um, again, it's not going to like draw in a bunch of water or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it's, an, it's in a very nice balance. And one of the things to remember with these, since it doesn't let as much moisture out like an oven would, you don't use as much water in your recipes. So if you have a recipe for something, you would probably tend to put in about a third less water than you would for oven cooking. Mm, that's a good point. Yeah. Nice question. Yeah. Oh, nice. Alrighty. I guess we'll just march on over to the next All one. Alright. <laughs> and this is the All American Sun Oven. And we can spin it around here. Mm, I smell that. As you just turned it, I got this like waft of <laughs> shrimp. That sounded awesome. And you can see that this unit is pretty similar to this. It, it operates off of the same basis. Uh, this one isn't the sport. This is uh, like a classic version. So mm. it has a little bit, a few more features. It's a little heavier. Yeah, it's a little um, deeper too, I see. Yeah. It's more like boxy. Yeah, and it does have some adju more adjustment as well. So uh, we can go ahead and maybe show some of what's going on here has an adjustment on the back, which is really nice. 
so you can follow the sun oh, look at that. Um, as it goes up in the sky. That's really uh, awesome. So if the sun's a little lower on the horizon, you can set it up a little bit mm -hmm. um, higher at, at a lower angle. Um, whereas if the sun's really high up in the sky like it is in midsummer in the middle of the day, then you would set it so it's facing almost straight up. Yeah, that's a great point. And I know like for the Solar Vore one, it doesn't necessarily have that little piece at the back, but you can always angle it as the sun's making its journey if you're, you know, prepping to be out for a day of hiking. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, and It'll be about the same because mm. these ovens are, are made to operate even in temperatures below freezing. Mm. Uh, it doesn't really affect the internal temperature too much. So mainly it's, it has to deal with how much sun they're actually getting. And you can also adjust the temperature by either um, setting it in the direct sun so that it's lined up really well um, and, and maybe following the sun, tracking it about every 30 minutes. Whereas if you want to do more of a slow cooker, you could set it up in the morning, face it more in like just a southerly direction where the sun's going to be in the afternoon and then let the sun track and it kind of comes up to temperature more slowly and then goes down and acts more like a slow cooker on the low setting. Uh, so that's a good question. This will work really well, whether it's cold or whether it's really hot. Yeah. It's pretty extraordinary to think you could set this out in the snow or, yeah. you know, in the winter time. And as could. long as you have sun, yeah. <laughs> it's going to work, which yeah, is awesome. You really could. Yeah. Um, as far as sun goes, one of the like, rules of thumb is if you can see your shadow, then there's enough sun to cook with. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. what's in here again? Uh, this, the smell of shrimp. This is actually soup, my soup. <laughs> so I just put my, my lunch in here to heat up uh, while we were doing the video and I'm pretty excited to, to eat it. So it's just a shrimp soup. Yeah. Russell's our soup person around <laughs> yeah, here. I do eat a <laughs> lot of soup. So this is a, a glass cover here, which awesome. is really nice. Awesome. Uh, it's specially treated to let a lot of the sunlight through. It doesn't have lead in it. And wow, you can look at this. Yeah. So you put this in a little bit later than when we put in the scalloped potatoes this yeah. morning. And yeah. this is already cooking really nicely. Yeah, there. it is. And it looks to be about 250 in this one as well. And if you were to set this one so that it tracks the sun really well and you have a nice full sun day, we, we do have some clouds out. So, um, you know, they're a little bit lower temperature than what they would be on like a really intense full sun day. But this one should get up to about 450 degrees. That's so, great. yeah. Now, hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. I've not seen any. Yeah, I mean, I think I would almost imagine I would treat this like, you know, like a cooler or something that you would bring camping where you might, you know, insects can kind of do what they want and they might like crawl on top of it, but we have not seen a single insect yeah. on our our oven so um the the um the latches and everything on here are pretty sturdy so yeah. this this latch for instance is airtight so it's kind of like the last one where it does keep the moisture in so you'd have to cut the yeah. um water content in your recipes down fortunately this is soup so i didn't have to worry about that <laughs> Um, but I imagine that these probably get so hot on the top and inside that insects wouldn't want to go in anyways because it's at cooking temperatures. So um, another thing I really like about this one is it does have that adjustable back, but it also has a tray in here yeah, I was just looking that, at that pivots. That is so cool. So, so whenever you are adjusting it, you don't have to worry about anything sloshing out. It automatically um, keeps itself level. That is so neat. I like that a lot. And that's one of those special features that, you know, the Solivore might not mm -hmm. have as much. But I think we put links to some of these uh, sites on our comment section, right, Q? Yeah, there's also an article that lists every single one of these in the comments. Oh, very oh, cool. Oh, awesome. An article that lists every yep. single one of these in the comments. That is great. Yeah, another thing I really like about this one is they have these, um, these solar sites so that you can line it up um, to make sure that you have optimal alignment with oh. the sun so that you can get the most sunlight in here for your cooking and you can see it's not lined up right now but mm -hmm. there's a, a sun shadow that comes through this top hole and whenever the sun is lined up with that bottom hole um, that's when you know mm. that it's lined up i'd have to turn it completely around in order to show people which i can do if you'd like we'll just You yeah, can kind so of see prices there. range um, depending on your, uh, we're going to probably compare a little bit later um, in the video, but yeah, prices uh, depending on like the sales that the sites will have, um, it can range uh, a couple, like few hundred dollars. Um, I believe the Solivore, this one in particular, uh, I think is a Solivore Sport. 
um, that one's a little more affordable than something like um, the GoSun or the uh, Soul Source one. So I believe the last time I checked on their website, uh, they were having a sale where I think the Soul Source that came with some of the pots and everything was about 200. Um, but yeah, so uh, it, you want to think about like investment, how much you're going to use it, and everything. How many um, people you're going to be cooking for? Because right. there is. You can, you can fit quite a bit in some of these, uh, especially like this one, you could take the tray out and maybe fit something in there double stacked. Um, whereas something like this, it, you may have a smaller capacity. They say you can feed about eight people out of it, about eight servings, um, and they, but they also have um, commercial units where you can feed a lot more people, say if you're taking out like a camping trip with like a troop of Boy Scouts or something, mm -hmm. uh, you should be able to feed quite a few people. So. Yeah. So yeah, it kind of depends on, on what you're looking for. Um, it will range uh, a couple hundred dollars difference depending on what type of unit you're getting. That's probably the kind of cooking you're going to be doing mm -hmm. the most as right. well. What about yeah. making one yourself? Is that possible? Oh, I am sure people have done that. Yeah. People are asking about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, there, you can definitely make your own for sure. Uh, one of the things is that they tend not to get quite as hot. Uh, so your cook times will be longer. And depending on what materials you use, if you, have, if you make it out of really good materials, then it might last a long time. But if you're making it out of something like a cardboard box, then you're going to get a cardboard lifetime out of it, you know, not, not very long. Yeah. Um, these, both of these units would probably be something very similar to what you would build at home, say out of a box. Yeah. Uh, but they also both have um, insulation inside of them in between the uh, two layers so that it helps keep that heat in there a lot better than something that's uninsulated, which can really uh, improve your cook times and cook with lower sunlight than something that doesn't have that. Right. So yeah, that's a good point. So shall we move on to this third one here? Yeah. This one's kind of the like futuristic you know, <laughs> one out of the four of them. Well, this one's pretty crazy too, but All I feel right. like you're going to like pull something secret out of the <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is the Go Sun. Um, this is one of their larger units. Uh, this, I think one of the biggest features is this kind of features like the grill um, so if you're, if you're looking for that like classic grill type experience, this is kind of the way to go. Um, this is one of their bigger units. Like I said, they have, they just launched, I think a little more recently, this like travel one. I don't know if you saw yeah, it. It's, it's like in a hard small, case. Yeah. It's very tight, like single, maybe two servings, yeah. like while you're like, you know, hiking or something. It's something you could potentially bring with you if you're walking around. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a, a good alternative to using, you know, Around the world, there's a lot of pollution that's yeah. caused by burning solid fuels. Also at home, you know, using uh, fossil fuels or non-renewable resources. So this is a, a pretty awesome thing that you can actually do that doesn't require anything more than just a nice sunny day. Yeah. And so let's, let's actually, oh, let's talk about this. So this one focuses the sunlight a little differently. It uses a parabolic uh, sun reflector here. You can kind of see, I'll try not to blind you all. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it works really well. And you can see this tube here. It's kind of like a big thermos. Um, it's an evacuated tube, so there's a vacuum in there. And then inside is uh, aluminum nitrile, uh, which absorbs. It's a really good conductor, so it absorbs that light energy really well. And it absorbs UV as well, which is kind of a nice added feature because that's something that can actually come through the clouds a lot better than the visible spectrum. Yeah. Uh, so you, you get a lot better heat on your food. And of course, the evacuated tube, that it acts as a, a really good insulator. Mm -hmm. And we can kind of pull this out here. Oh, wow, that's cooking really nicely. So you can see we have two different um, like little uh, container, like metal containers we've put in there. So we are cooking two completely different types of food. So the first one that Russell has out are apples. So we're kind of making like an apple, um, like applesauce-ish type of dish. And then the one right there is, are those portobellos, right? Mm -hmm. Mushrooms? Yeah, those are mushrooms. Yeah, so we've been uh, cooking them up since this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can fill this completely full of food. You just want to be sure that it's not anything that can expand, because um, if you're baking bread or something, it can uh, cause these to expand, and then you have a hard time getting it out. So that's a little <laughs> tip there. And you can also throw this on here, which um, allows you to grill things on there, or even steam things if yeah. you want to. Uh, so I know that I've um, actually baked some things in there and they get nice and crispy brown. Um, it's, so cool. it's pretty impressive, actually. Yeah, I was about to say, you, you had mentioned earlier that you've used this one before. Yes, yeah, I have. Yeah, and I've really enjoyed it. I, it's nice and compact, which mm -hmm. is uh, one of the nice things about it. And the other thing that's really helpful for me, I mean, 
you can you can kind of eyeball where the sun is at and line it up pretty well but i kind of like it when you don't have to guess so much and so this portion right here acts as an alignment so it's almost like um like a leveler mm -hmm. but it's for finding the sun nice. and you can see probably see on the camera there that there's a little shadow dot right there and then there's the sun's glare and what you do is you um turn this this way and this way and also this this way and this way and you can kind of see that that shadow is moving mm -hmm. and you can make it very precise. yes you can make it really precise and then this locks it when you turn it one full turn locks it in place so that the sun's not knocking it out of the way and when you have that glare and that shadow lined up then you know that you have a really good alignment to the sun right I've seen pictures on their website too of how, you know, they like to feature this. This is something too that you can, you know, plop up on a table, pull out the drawer and, you know, everybody just kind of grabs what they want. If you're yeah. thinking more just like, you know, how's it going to look on my table yeah. aesthetic wise? Cause that's things I think about. <laughs> yeah, and even if you're wanting to just put it up and you're done using it, then it folds up just like yeah, that. Yeah, so beautiful. It's a nice compact unit. I think that they've put a lot of thought into it. So yeah, definitely. Um, and what's really cool about some of these uh, um, items here, the different solar ovens, is that if you know you're kind of looking, well, what what can I make with them? You can make a lot of things, but what's cool about their websites is, is that they have a lot of recipes they provide online. So everything from desserts to burgers to vegetables, applesauce, mm -hmm. um, they like to get you started, so you can kind of know what the possibilities are. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Another cool thing about this is that since it's kind of like a large thermos, once you're done cooking, you could close it up like this. Um, just put the, the cooker back in, slide it back in, and it keeps your food warm for like six yeah. hours. That's so awesome. It's pretty neat. Oh, it kind of depends on the sunlight. There are some variables, mm -hmm. which you'll, after a few times of using it, I think you kind of get a hang for it. But if it's a full sun day, um, there's a piece in here you want it to, to let it actually heat up because there's a thermal um, bank, like a heat bank in there made out of aluminum. Mm -hmm. So you let it heat up to, this one has a, like a temperature dial that goes one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's not super intuitive as far as telling what the temperature is, but you want to let it heat up to three, which I have, a, let's see, three is 250 degrees. And then after it heats up to three, then you would put your food in there. You'll see the temperature go down just a little bit and then it'll go back up. So nice. you should probably be able, well, heck, there's a chart right here. They provide a lot of information in their uh, in the little booklet that they send, cooking times. Hmm. It looks like you could probably cook quiche, which is 24 eggs. On a full sun day, you could cook it in about an hour. That's really good. On a medium sun day, about two hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's 24 eggs. That's two dozen eggs. That's a lot of eggs. <laughs> it's a multi-person breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> um, before we jump on to our uh, fourth one here, we're going to do a quick little shout out um, for some of the products I'm holding right now. So uh, you can see right here, um, I am wearing a pretty awesome Mother Earth News, right? It says Mother Earth News on here. Mother Earth <laughs> News hat. <laughs> um, so, I wish I would have worn mine because I have a yeah, lot of sun in my eyes right now. I know, it's a hot day today, but you know, we have some great products on the website. So we have this, I'm also sporting some mosquito repellent that is a natural alternative. So instead of some of the ones that have a lot more chemicals, this has uh, just a few ingredients like water, isopropyl alcohol, and then some a, a few uh, natural essential oils. So. Yeah, it does smell really nice, which is something you don't normally say for a bug spray. Um, but this is really great for when you're cooking outside, especially in the summertime. It's a hot summer. So, you know, when you're when you're outside, make sure you are, you know, sporting the proper protection, especially if you have very delicate skin like me. Um, so we have some great products on our Mother Earth News website if you want to check that out as well. Mm. You know, you should probably just always wear sunglasses when it's <laughs> sunny out. Unfortunately, I forgot mine. So I would say it's probably a good idea, although I think that they've taken a lot of measures with these yeah. to make it so that you're not going to hurt yourself. For instance, these focus the sunlight inward. Um, so it'd be really hard to get your head. You'd have to be really trying to get your head in there in order to have any really like big difference on there. I mean, um, you, know, you never know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> I would say probably this one is the one uh, that we're getting ready to, to go to is the one that you'd want to be the most careful with mm -hmm. um, just because it does focus it onto a focal point. 
However, is you can take this parabolic dish off, or this um, kind of like satellite dish, reflective dish, off and flip it upside down or put the provided cover over it and not have to worry about it too much. So, uh, while you're cooking, no, I'd say it's not a problem, but you definitely want to make sure that they're stowed properly when you're done cooking with them. Yeah, good question. Yeah, so this is our last one. This is kind of the niftiest looking one, I think. Um, so this is from, I believe, Soul Source, and their kind of fun backstory about this is their founder um, was inspired by the nomadic lifestyles of people mm -hmm. in the Himalayas um, and how also there was some difficulty with um, cooking uh, in that area. So um, there might have been some uh, like fuel uh, um, scarcity uh, from doing like, open cooking fires or something like that. So the, uh, the founder of this company was inspired to create something that um, would be really beneficial to those nomadic peoples. And now it's kind of become a, a thing that other people outside of that region have started latching on to. Um, so this is a pretty awesome it's, one. <laughs> it's really cool. I really like this one a lot, especially because it kind of makes it uh, very much into like a stove top, which of course yeah. you could put a Dutch oven on here and, mm -hmm. and kind of have more of an oven feel to it. But this is something that you can actually like, you know, fry some foods and stuff in. So it gets right. very hot. Uh, and it, actually, if you were to come down here, you can kind of see how this focuses the sunlight. It's very easy to align. So on the underside, you can see that it's very, very bright. Mm -hmm. And you can probably see where I'm moving the sunlight there. And if you go back, to forth, back and forth, you can see how it kind of tracks across that. So you just want to line it up to the center of this pan. And you can use pretty much any kind of cookware in here. I would recommend something that has a matte finish that's dark and also that helps distribute heat a little more evenly. Mm. Now these, we just put on as we came out here to get preparing to film. Yes, this one heats up very quickly, mm -hmm. um, for sure. And I'll go ahead and flip one of these burgers over. So we got some beet burgers on here. Yes. That we made from scratch, which are looking delicious. Um, these beet burgers smell really, smell really so good. good. Every time we open this lid, we're just, oh. yeah, even the buns are looking great. Now, talking about you know things like scrambled eggs and such, if you're you know really wanting to cook something quickly and you want to use a solar oven, this is kind of the way to go if you if you want a faster time. Um, and I think the cool thing is, you know, when I first saw this, I was wondering is this the only you know size you can use on this mm -hmm. uh, oven? But I believe you know with these pins here and everything, you can accommodate a couple different sizes. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And like I was saying earlier, just for stowing, this is one that you, you wouldn't want to just leave um, out in the sun uh, when you're not um, actually tending to it because it can focus those rays and potentially catch something on fire. So as long as you're careful about it when you're done cooking, this, um, this dish just lifts right off um, and then you can just lay it upside down or, uh, and I'll actually grab this really quick right here, you can get this cover here which just stretches right over it. Um, underneath the cooking element tray, it goes over this and it keeps the sun's rays from getting to the uh, dish and then you don't have to worry about any stray light rays going where they don't need to be going. What's important about this one too to note is that um, it's not this whole surface that's going to get boiling hot. Right. It's just this area. Yep. So I am, you know, yeah. I can like touch. That's it right. feels, you know, it's like warm because it's outside, mm -hmm. but it, you know, nothing uh, that you're going to be like, you have to sit back, wear special gear, anything. Right. Um, you can just stand right in yep, there. Stand this right area in will here. get hot. And it's very easy to cook. You're very close to your cooking surface. Uh, it's really nice. I really like it a lot. Yeah, so. it's really great. Um, and it looks cool. Mm -hmm. It really does look cool. It, it's it's <laughs> pretty spiffy looking. Um, and then if you, if you're wanting to clean this one as well, and kind of like with all of them, but this one especially can probably a lot more easily get stuff on these little um, panels here. All you gotta do, and you can go onto their website and uh, they, they answer a lot of your questions about the maintenance of these ovens. Just take some warm soapy water and just, you know, you can just wipe them down and they're good. Mm -hmm. So nothing special. Yep. All right. So I guess we can kind of talk a little bit about like the comparisons between some of these ovens. So, you know, what are you looking for if, if you're thinking about getting an, an oven like this? Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of touched on some of it. You know, if you're looking for something where you want to cook something fast, this is kind of the way to go. I would go with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely heats up very, very quickly. 
Um, I like that it's kind of like a griddle style. You can use your own pans, which is nice. Yes. Um, so you can have small pan, big pan. Um, you can use a lot of your cookware that you already own, mm -hmm. which is also a nice plus. Um, yeah, one thing to keep in mind again is that since it focuses that sunlight on a pretty small area, you want to try and use something that's going to diffuse that heat. So cast iron works pretty well. Um, thick aluminum works well. Uh, something with a thick base on it that's actually going to hold that heat a little better. Uh, one of the downsides to this is that if the sun goes away, your heat goes away. And so it's up fast, but it also can cool down pretty fast too. Yeah. So if you end up with some clouds out here, like we've had, you can notice the cooking kind of goes up and down um, pretty quickly. But you know, this is not something you're going to just leave and go hiking for a couple hours. Right. You want to keep an eye on this one right. a little more. <laughs> uh, this one is very easy to adjust, which I really like. Um, yeah, it has, it has this, this adjuster right here, and it's just a little latch. Uh, very easy. You can see exactly where the sun, sunlight is focusing, which I like, and then it also pivots really well. So I like nice. it for that reason as well. Yeah. And then, like we kind of said before, um, if you are not as consistent cooking time and are cool with doing a slow cooker, mm -hmm. um, these guys are the way to go. Um, yeah. You know, so again, depending on how much you want to adjust, either of these would work very well and you just angle it for the sun. Mm -hmm. You can walk away, go hiking, you can throw this in the car with you. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty portable and easy to lift. Yeah, and just like this one, I'll kind of show you how, how it, is more portable some of the features that they've added so it folds in um, really easy like that and this folds down uh, it has a little button and the blue area is not hot, right? no the blue area is not hot and I have something in here cooking right now so I'm not gonna pick it up but it does have a handle here so you can pick it up like a suitcase and just walk with it and it only weighs about a little over 20 pounds so it's not very heavy and Awesome. Yeah, that's great to hear. Thanks for chiming in on that. Yeah, that's really great. We love hearing personal stories about how these ovens have worked for people. Um, I think that's some of the best ways to get word about some of these products around. When you hear it from a friend or from someone you know, um, we love hearing those stories. Uh, it's just another way to spread the word about these cool products that you can use and really um, create something really awesome for your lifestyle. Really? Yes. Yeah. You can, I I believe I read in like the Go Sun. I'm sure the, the Go Sun. Yeah. yeah. So I remember seeing at least in one of them. I'm sure a lot of the models have this. Is you can boil water and then you know you can reuse that water. You know you pour it out for something like noodles or something like that that you would pour water on top of. Yeah. yeah you can definitely do that and then it stores stuff as well. And talking about like emergency preparedness or being mm. in a, a place where you don't have access to drinking water as easily. If you can boil water, it also means that you can have safe drinking water. So that's something that a lot of people don't think about with uh, a lot of these ovens is that if you can boil your water, then you also have a water source mm -hmm. as long as you have access to water. So. Right. Yeah. And I know these guys can do that too. You just stick a, mm -hmm. stick a pot in there and that's awesome. Yeah. And they've definitely got enough hot, hot enough to boil water in both mm. of these. Yeah. Can you just go over the names again and then the, kind of the price range? Absolutely. So we have the Solivore here. Mm -hmm. um, this is the sport version. Yes. So Solivore is... S-O-L-A-V-O-R-E. V -O -R -E. So this is the Solivore Sport. They have a couple different models. Mm -hmm. um, I believe the last time I checked, uh, I believe it was the Solivore. It could have been the classic one. Um, it ranges from about $200 to $300, depending on the package you're getting. Yeah. Um, these, a lot of times, will come with two of those black pots. Yeah. And I think there'll be links as well um, in the comments. So definitely check out those links. Go to the website, because that's going to be the the best information that you're going to get on all these units because they have other things to offer as well as as far as add-ons uh different sizes like this is the sport edition you know they have classics they have bigger ones smaller ones so you can kind of get a range for your lifestyle links are in the article that we shared on kind of covering the basics of solar cooking okay okay and the links are also in an article um covering solar cooking so there will be links in the article that the are shared bottom. yeah at the very bottom so definitely check that out uh, this is the All American Sun Oven. Uh, you can tell that it's uh, very similar to this one. It uh, has a few different features as well. This one will get a little bit hotter than the Sport. Uh, probably can get up with a really good sunny day over 300 degrees very easily, um, near 400 probably. So 
this one also has a lot more adjustments. Uh, it's a little bit taller capacity, but you can tell it's not quite as wide right. as this one. So yeah, you can put yeah, pot pots on top of one another, but in this one, I think you could put pots side by side, mm -hmm. potentially. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Um, and I believe the temperature range for the Solivore is about the same as the Sun Oven. Okay. Um, so then we have this one, the uh, Go Sun. Um, so this one, uh, feature-wise, does a lot more of that grilling um, to kind of set that apart. Price-wise, this one's going to be one of the um, expense, more expensive ones. Uh, so the the biggest like full Go Sun one, I believe, last time I checked, was about six ninety nine. Um, if that's you know too pricey for you, but you're really interested in these models, they do have smaller ones. So I believe that travel pack one is a little over a hundred dollars. And again, some of the features with this one that are really nice is that it does have that evacuated tube. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it keeps your food a little warmer, longer, yeah. um, and also uh, one of the other nice things is that it can all get that sunlight from the UV rays that can pass through the clouds so it can cook on um, shadier days than some of these other units can, yes. uh, which can be, if you're living in more of a cloudy place or somewhere with mm -hmm. partly clouds, then this can be a really big boon to that and could be worth the extra price tag on Absolutely. it. Absolutely, yeah. Know, depending on your needs and what you want to do definitely I, I think it would be worth the investment yep. and then finally we have the sole source um, so this is the big dish oven um, so this one uh, ranges in a couple prices as well depending on the model so this one, I believe is the classic model but mm -hmm. I believe they also have like I think a little more compact like sporty sporty looking model so I believe the last time I checked again you know check the prices could change depending on sales and such. Um, this was around like uh, four to five hundred. Yeah, four to five hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about right. So. Yeah, and uh, again, like we said, this one heats it up a lot quicker. Um, you can do much more of like you know, right there, and then burgers, what have you. Yep. And it's pretty cool. This one has a uh, self-healing reflective surface on it too. Yeah. That's right. I remember yeah. About that. So cool. if you end up accidentally scratching it or something like that, minor scratches will actually heal themselves over time, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty crazy what I they're know. doing with materials these days. But um, it'll keep it, you know, nice and shiny and and bright and hot. Yeah. Okay, everything you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen, like, Depending on where you live, I I would say that. Potentially, yes. I mean, there's some things that you couldn't do on this that you can do on a grill because on a grill you can do like char grilling and stuff like that. You have the flame. It's a little bit different. This one's going to be more like a griddle top. Um, so I would say depending on the type of cooking that you're doing, yeah, I, I'm comfortable with that. As long as you have the sunshine out, yep. you can grill. So, you know, yeah. sun's out, grill's out, I guess. Clever. <laughs> Yeah. Hashtag, yep. <laughs> but yes, yeah, speaking of hashtags, if any of you guys already have a solar oven that we feature here, feel free to share it. Um, we're also saying before, we'd love to hear your questions and comments mm -hmm. and how we're uh, utilizing things like solar ovens and, you know, tag us in it, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, what have you. We'd love to feature our viewers and users in our social media. Yeah. Who made brownies? Brownies. Oh, brownies oh sounds so good. <laughs> Somebody made brownies in theirs and they're, they're telling us about it, I guess. So. Uh. Brownies. That sounds so good. <laughs> I would love to make brownies. I would just bake all the time with these things. Yeah, I know. Because you just. <laughs> one of the nice things about this in the summertime is that you can bake and it doesn't heat your house up. Yes. So that's one of the things about baking in the summer that it always mm -hmm. just kind of drag because it's like so hot out and then you're heating your house up. But you put this outside, you can walk away from it. You're not heating your house up and you can come back to brownies and brownies. take them back into the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <you have> ice cream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, we apparently we have people all the way from Smoky Mountains to Ireland tuning in. So awesome. thank you all for, for letting us know where you're from. We love seeing where everyone's actually like viewing from. It's kind of neat for us to see. So that's super exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about all we have to share today. I know. Opening up all this food and smelling is making me really hungry. So I'm kind of yes. thinking it might be chow time. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for tuning in. We really enjoyed it. And showing some of these different solar ovens that we've had experience with and uh, and just talking about it because we think it's a pretty neat thing um, you don't really get to see them in action and I think see them in action, seeing how easy they are to use. 
Um, I mean, I love cooking. They're cool. They're really Definitely cool. a lot so. less daunting. And you know you're doing a good thing for the environment as well. Yeah. It's such a sustainable way to cook. Yep, absolutely. Well, with that, I guess we'll sign off. All right. Uh, I'm Russell Wall with Mother Earth News. I'm Jessica Mitchell with Mother Earth News. And